Hey folks, Green Stuff Gav here. Now, with um, 10th edition drop in, and uh, Wib from Snipe and Wib did a fantastic look at his Lamenters army, I thought I'd um, follow suit and just show you the state of the Lamenters. Now, for anyone who didn't see the channel update video, this army was originally painted for 7th edition for the Fury of the Ancients formation, where you could take Dreadnought as um, troops so I put together a dreadnought army using the blood angels list because you've got the librarian dreadnoughts um, now I paint and trade armies so I uh, traded a different army a crimson fist bike army uh, with a gentleman for some space wolves and then my herpes managed to throw away the um, parcel and didn't even reimburse me for the full value that they lost. Now I owed this guy an army, so I shipped him what I'd painted so far for the Lamenters, which was uh, about eight dreadnoughts, and um, thought nothing more of it. Now when I was trading a Dark Elf arm, this was back in 2007-ish, I think. Now when I was um, trading a Dark Elf army, I was offered, oh, a dreadnought army. And I said to this gentleman, oh, yeah, I've got, I painted a Dreadnought army. And he sent me a photo of this army, which had made its way to the Netherlands. So I've traded it back. And now with 10th edition uh, being here, I've reshuffled the list. And um, yeah, we just thought we'd go through where the army stands and what I got planned and how it's going. So where this was designed for 7th, you needed to have um, a HQ choice. So I went for, um, obviously, I've got two tech marines. Uh, this is back in 10th edition. Librarian Dreadnought's lost character. So you've got to take a character. So I've got two tech marines. You see they've got some servitors. There's little bodyguards. Again, 55 points. You take two heavy weapons. is quite cheap. Uh, I've got a death company with jump pack. Oh, so for the tech marines, you can see here's the first one that's painted, working on his servitors. Now the guns are magnetized so they can be parvists because in older editions you've got to pay points for weapons. And the second tech marine is actually the limited white dwarf miniature with his little uh, black gobbo servitor. Only one special uh, heavy weapon in this team, but um, I might go back and remagnetize a couple of arms. Uh, directly behind them, it, because we've been playing 4th edition, you've got to take troops. So I took a unit of sc Space Marine Scouts or Mechanicus guys to help um, uh, maintain the Dreadnoughts. They're just standard uh, Mechanicus Skitari with some high elf bits just thrown in and about. Nothing too special there. Now, Lament has never got a death company, but in 4th edition, you have to take a death company uh, for Blood Angels. So uh, I threw together just painting up an assault squad as if it's veterans. Now, we can see I've gone for um, a whole range of checkers all over them to sort of show them that they're, they could be Vanguard vets or death company. Uh, behind them, we've got two tactical squads. These are from Satyr Art Studios because they're female space marines. They're not space marines, which doesn't break the um, the lore of the Lamenters and the fact there's not many space marines actually left. Lovely, lovely sculpts. Very Rogue Trader era. Uh, although now I have to run them as a 10-man squad. So that multi-melter becomes a melter gun to make it legal. Behind them, we've got three Death Company Dreadnoughts. Uh, obviously, two were Furiosos and one was a stock Dreadnought, but with the rule of three, and the Furiosos aren't too good in 10th, but Death Company Dreadnoughts are pretty amazing. So I've got to make a, another arm for this guy so he can have his dual fists. Interestingly, so while um, the guy on the right is a stock dreadnought, the guy in the middle is a uh, veteran dreadnought, which is uh, a venerable dreadnought, which is still available, 
but the guy on the left here is the old Blood Angels metal dreadnought, so it weighs an absolute ton. Uh, I had two Librarian Dreadnoughts, obviously one's modelled as a Chaplain um, and they're magnetised so they can be just normal guys but um, Librarian Dreadnoughts aren't great these days, um, they're good at throwing a Invulnerable out but uh, only they can use the Wings of Sanguinius now, uh, no they can't use Wings of Sanguinius, other mod uh, infantry can. Behind was two standard dreadnoughts, um, or which were ironclads painted as standard dreadnoughts, and now back to ironclads with some converted arms because um, I didn't have any of the original bits left over. These are painted up as tech marines, so again they fill they fill part of the um, the the army's lore in the fact that I got librarian, chaplain, dreadnought, uh, and tech marines. Just in case don't take any infantry track marines. And then thanks to rule of three, I can only take three dreadnoughts, so here's the three. Interestingly, two are the multi-part plastic kit, and one is the assault on black reach, which is um, pretty much monopose. Uh, all the arms aren't glued, so they can come off and be swapped out, and I've got a bucket full. That is a four-drilled missile launcher dread. Uh, missile pod quite hard to get hold of yeah so all the arms are, aren't glued so I can swap all the arms out should I need different weapons options but yes there is a custom case I'm making for them but um, I haven't got too far with that one because I've sort of hit a, uh, a bit of a snag with getting the inner details right yeah, thought we'd um, have a look, and this is my current Lamenters army, which I'm making for 10th edition. Thankfully, you don't need to take any of the infantry, just one tech marine, and the rest of it's all legal now because of the way they've got rid of Force Orc charts. Um, be nice to get some views about, so share this about and stick a like on if you like it, because obviously you see this channel stalled a bit because i um, not getting any real... Um, views or traffic but i do appreciate you watching this far so thanks for watching and as always have fun